You may recall that in September of last year, the Moapa area in southern Nevada was hit with severe flooding that damaged and closed portions of I-15. In the first flood, September 8th, we lost um, all lanes of the freeway. There was only a, a partial lane that was left, and so all of the traffic had to, northbound and southbound, had to be rerouted. NDOT's Mohamed Ruas walks us through what happened when on two separate occasions the area received more rain in four hours than it usually receives in an entire year. And where we're standing now was completely undermined and part of the lane on the uh, southbound I-15 was completely washed out and all the uh, pavement was down, down, down in the gully here. As you can see that pipe, that big uh, corrugated metal pipe, that was up here where we're standing. That was supposed to convey water, but it just completely washed it out. And you can see at least 50, 60 feet away from us down there. Um, but we came in and this is all new fill. And we kind of made it even wider. It was not as wide through here, just to, uh, to make it a little, bit, a little bit safer. And yeah, the main, the main came from, from that side over there. Yeah. This is a huge basin down here. And the water came over the top. Uh, on the mesa and about four inches of rain in a very short period of time filled the whole basin and then came over the top went by the barrier rail and then came across the highway and caused damage on the other side so all this water went along the slope here and caused a huge cavern on the other side damaged to the, the number one number two lane and damaged the number one lane here on the southbound lane all this whole pavement was been cut out and was 30, 40 feet deep through the hole right here. So, so it was as deep as that ravine right yeah, here? Yeah, right here. Yeah, right here. So this so part right up here was a big All of this, too? yes. That's why we had to push traffic on the other lane so just to, so it's safe, that uh, you know, it doesn't undermine anymore. So that's why that's all new pavement that was completely gone. Thanks to the immediate response and dedicated efforts of NDOT maintenance crews and contractor Las Vegas Paving, the flood affected areas were reopened in just four days. And now the finished work, such as guardrails and medians, has been completed as well. About ready to close the uh, last chapter of this book.